How long does it take to find anything out in this place? Tracy Metcalf. Look, she, she, she's pregnant. There, there was an accident. She came in an ambulance. What are you doing here? I good deed for the day. Is this a wind-up? No, I'm winding you up. It's just an added bonus. You better pray that they're all right. I actually gave Nate a lift here. Jesus. Managed to catch one of the nurses. He's gone to find out what's happening. Well, you'll be lucky. Nobody seems to know anything in this place. What did you mean just now? You better pray they're all right. Nothing. It doesn't matter. Why would you say that? What, what's she got to do with him? What were you talking about with Aaron before? Well, just leave it. Now's not the time. What does that mean? Why are you covering for him? Yeah, Ken, why would you do that? Now, if you had something to do with this... Nate, enough. Aaron said Eric took his car before it was ready. Did you mess with it? Now, why would I do that? You tell me, because I know you're lying. OK, do you want to know what the truth okay, is? OK, this is down to me. Not him. That is the truth. So now you know. I caused the accident. Sorry, when you say responsible, you mean you knew there was something wrong with the car? But you didn't know Eric was going to take it? Yes, I didn't. It wasn't meant for him, was it? Well, let me try and shed some light on the situation here. Cain deliberately messed with the brakes to try and kill me. He's been stealing cars from the guys. I thought he'd take Eric's car next. So you sabotaged it? Only the plan backfired, didn't it, Cain? You couldn't even get that right. Excuse me, Tracy Metcalf? Yeah, what's happening? Is she OK? Just up the corridor and left, room 213. What, you're not going to go with him? Parental support and all that. Why are you still here? What the hell do you think you're playing at? Stealing cars from the garage? And did he tell you what he did to try and catch me out? So he did, and you're okay with it? Oh, don't play the victim. You tried to destroy his business. What did you expect him to do? It's one rule for Kane, another for everyone else. Is that it? No. He just wanted to send you a message. Ha! <laughs> oh, that's some message. Is that what you're going to tell Tracy? Okay, you've said your piece. What you haven't told me is why you're doing this. Why do you think? I don't think you're doing this on your own, are you? I do, it's just me, no one else. So not even Kim Tate? Yeah, that's what I thought. I mean, is this really all you are now, eh? A thug for hire? And how long are you going to let her pull your strings? That's... That's not exactly how it is. No? Tell me how it really is. Our, uh, our interests align. She has money, I need money. It's an age-old story. And you think this is a story that's going to end well for you? Wise up before you are in so deep that there's no way out. Listen to me. You've got no idea what that woman is capable of. I can take care of myself. Her husband thought that too. Ex-Special Forces, a love of her life. Didn't stop her trying to kill him. What chance do you think you have? And despite everything, Mackenzie, I don't want to see you get hurt. He's not going to say anything, though, is he? Right, I'm just asking a question. Well, the main thing is no one was hurt. Let me know when you had a chance to speak to me, yeah? See you in a bit. Look who I found outside. Oh, hey. How's your dad? Uh, any, any word on when? He's home. What do you mean, home? My uncle Zach's got his eye on him as we speak. Well, I couldn't see him on the street, could I? What was the night? I still think I should move back in, help share the load. And I told you, that's not what you need. Help? It's your call. All right, sorry. Well, apparently, I don't get a choice in it. That's because I know what's best for you. And what about what's best for you? Well, trust me, I know your dad. Right. He's not going to be able to even blink without me knowing about it. I can believe that. Right. And look, please don't take this the wrong way. I can't be worrying about you as well. I'm not a kid. Yeah, I know that. And that's why I'd feel better you being here, having family looking out for you. Yeah, exactly. We've got your back, mate. Haven't we? Always. <laughs>